Elon Musk, he's done it again. Something completely out of the box and actually out of the world. He launched the largest rocket on the face of the earth at this time. And now if that, think about it, if that wasn't enough, he launched his Tesla Roadster into space. Is that amazing? How does this revolutionary launch inspire you? Can you see a time when we're going to go to Mars or we're going to go to another planet and we're going to inhabit it? We're probably going to live on it? Or instead of being outer space minded, should we be more heavenly minded about what's going on? Listen, we want to know your thoughts. Leave your comments below. Now let's take a look at this historic launch. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. These are exciting days. You think about the space program during the 60s when a huge national budget, big percentage of the American budget was used for the space race, right? That's right. Mercury and Jupiter and Saturn and all those Sputnik things. Sputnik with Russia, right? All that type of stuff. Well, that was stuff. the beginning of it. Yeah. But yeah, you're looking at just, you know, it took a lot of money. You couldn't even do that again right now with our budget. But now, one company, John, one company, SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's company, That's right. launched one of the largest rockets on the face of the Earth from Kennedy Space Center just the other Not day. Not just launched it, but launched it successfully. And they're saying this is the beginning of maybe, just maybe, colonizing Mars. It's a crazy thing. And guess what? When, there's a payload always on a rocket when it goes off, right? Maybe a satellite or something. Well, this particular one had his uh, Tesla Roadster, Roadster. What's he calls his, his car? It's a car. It's a Tesla, Tesla Roadster. Tesla Roadster. And he actually, when he got there, he launched it off into space. You're going to see this take place in just a moment. But you got to see this rocket take off from the Kennedy Space Center. It's an amazing thing. Take a look. SpaceX just launched a Tesla Roadster to Mars on this. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. This is the Falcon Heavy's maiden flight. It's the launch that everyone's been waiting for. Falcon Heavy is a monster. It has 27 engines. It can generate more power than 18 747 jumbo jets and is the most powerful rocket to fly since NASA's moon rocket, the Saturn V. Making it the most powerful functioning rocket on Earth. This was one of SpaceX's most difficult launches. Just bear in mind that there is a good chance this monster rocket blows up. Elon Musk, SpaceX. But it didn't. Even though this was a test launch, Musk took the opportunity to send some payload his own Tesla Roadster. Which will eventually reach Mars's orbit. Payload will be the Midnight Cherry Tesla Roadster playing space oddity. Destination is Mars orbit. Will be in deep space for a billion years or so. Now that's a rocket test like we've never seen before. Afterwards, SpaceX planned to retrieve each of the three boosters and they landed two side boosters as its landing base in Florida. And the main core was set to land on a drone ship 
in the Atlantic. Musk has said the Falcon Heavy could usher people to Mars one day. That day now looks closer than ever. And who knows? Maybe a roaster will be waiting when they get there. You gotta see this. Take a look. This is a live capture, live footage you're seeing right now of that roaster going through. Look at it. You're seeing this is the roaster that they launched. It says don't panic right there on the Ooh. dashboard. You can see it. Now watch. You're gonna see the earth start to come by in just a moment to your left out of the left side of the windshield. I see it. You see it right there. Here it comes. This is amazing. This is live. This is a live stream. This is a live stream. From space. Yeah, live stream, and you're watching the Tesla road. This is beautiful advertising, wow. by the way. And you're watching. There you go. Look at this. You're looking at the Earth come. This is what's it right now That's in the space amazing. over us. I mean, you just got to see. This is just an amazing moment right a now. A company. A company lo launches this on its own. Yeah, and this is the Tesla, you know, SpaceX. And then Tesla company owns these ba it's a battery-operated cars, right? Yeah. And they're known for that. So you're seeing this take place. As a matter of fact, you can go on uh, their, their website or you can go to vfnkb.com and go to the torch and watch a live stream that's taking place 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's just amazing, it's you amazing. know, what's taking place up there. This is just, who would have ever thought that a company, a company compared to what a whole nation had to do in the 60s, was able to make a launch like this, you know? If you doubt it, that technology has exponential growth and my goodness you've missed it because look at what we've been able to do in such a short amount of time and people are saying mars no way let yeah. me tell you it could be a very very close reality because how large these how large these rockets you get another shot of it right here you're looking at it this is a camera that's mounted on the front of it you're looking back look at, at this. this guy how did yeah, he survive right. in that how oh yeah. my well goodness. it's not it's just a dummy <laughs> they've got a dummy in there but you know it's a vision he's casting vision for what yeah. he believes he do to be able to go to mars and and the, by the way, the reason, if you hadn't seen our earlier program, we talked about, you know, augmented reality and augmented the, the life in the smart lane. They talk about the reason why he wants to go to Mars is because he's concerned and fearful about what AI is going to do to the Earth in a short period of time. Artificial, artificial intelligence. intelligence. Robots. Loose, yeah, robots. So he's, he's focused on getting there and colonizing that course. What he really needs to focus on is God. That's right. Because, you know, God's God of the universe. The well, escape route here is heaven, not yeah. Mars. So you're looking. This is pretty cool. You can see this. You can go to VFNKB.com. You can see this, you know, on the VFN Torch. Pretty exciting. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.